Hello everyone, my name is the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm just gonna make a quick Ponish video. Trust me, this one's gonna be rather short. <coughs> Why do I oppose Gamergate? So this must be Bizarro Joe and Owen. I oppose Gamergate for a couple of reasons. Oh, let me guess. Gamergate is misogynistic because they're going after the likes of Zoe Quinn and Rhea Richards and... <laughs> It seems to... Gamergate seem to have no legitimate concerns. No legitimate concerns? An entire uh, consumer revolt has no legitimate concerns. It, it, I, I, this just baffles my fucking mind. The ethics in games journalism angle seems to me to be a complete red herring. Do you even know what a red herring is? How a red herring actually works? Because you clearly don't. You're gonna have to explain really fucking well in, to, uh, in order to explain how a uh, Gamergate is nothing more than a red herring. Uh, and it seems to be functioning as a cultural right-wing reactionary movement to... Uh, disparage feminism and social justice concerns and political correctness. The so-called concerns that feminist and social justice warriors had for video games is absolutely and positively, without a doubt, 100% insane. I mean, for example, this guy actually claims that NPCs, believe it or not, are racist. I'm not even fucking kidding. And uh, the left generally. Cultural Marxism and such. Uh, and so it should be obvious from the start that ethics in journalism has nothing to do with political correctness. Are you serious? So, those two things are completely separate. And you will find some Gamergaters who will acknowledge this and insist that Gamergate is about ethics in games journalism and go on to rail against political correctness and uh, feminism anyway. Maybe a few members might go against um, political correctness, but that's not about Gamergate. Uh, and then there are also some Gamergaters who are explicitly or who uh who are explicit that to them gamergate is a movement or some kind of pushback against political correctness and or feminism and or social justice warriors or sjw's also known as a hive mind uh and even you'll find a smaller subset of that group who will be explicit about the fact that Gamergate is about defending gaming as a male space or as a masculine space. Nice straw man. Where do you get it from the 99 cent store? I have never heard a gamer, a male gamer, ever said that gaming is for men or women are invading the male spaces or whatever. Never have I ever heard that. Perhaps they're is a uh, few people out there that are in fact Gamergate extremists, but that doesn't make Gamergate as a whole. Uh, and then in the next breath, they'll turn around and say that they aren't misogynists. So, but the whole movement to me seems pretty misogynist, and this anti feminist, uh, anti political correctness angle seems to permeate all of the discourse that goes on in Gamergate spaces. Gamergate is not necessarily anti-feminist. However, there are plenty of people out there who are in support of Gamergate and, in fact, is against feminism. For example, yours truly. But there are plenty of people out there who is in support of Gamergate and, you know, either is not against feminism or just indifferent from uh, feminism. And there are actually people who are in support of feminism and still in support of Gamergate. So the two are not mutually exclusive.
if it's actually true that Gamergate is, in fact, anti-feminist, then why the fuck would uh, Gamergators would be donating money to the fine young capitalists, which, by the way, is a feminist organization? I am dead fucking serious. Explain why Gamergators would donate money to a feminist organization to help women. I mean, I think your entire argument pretty much just boils down to this. Because you think that Gamergate is nothing more than anti-feminist, therefore it must be anti-political correctness, anti-woman, anti-equality, uh, all that sort of shit. Therefore, you're against it. Uh, and Gamergate is also supported by a whole bunch of right-wingers and cultural conservatives. I have a brief list. Try to figure out which is who. Uh, Breitbart.com, obviously, and Milo Yiannopoulos. Davis Orini, Karen Strawn, Internet Aristocrat, King of Pole, Justicar, Thunderfoot, Sargon of Akkad, and half the anti-feminists on YouTube, or more. Uh, Roosh V, and the red pill crowd generally, and MGTOWs, and A Voice for Men, and that whole bunch, and Stormfront, the neo-Nazis. I really love feminists who love to bring up neo-Nazism. You know, hey, if you oppose feminism, then guess what? You're a neo-Nazi! Uh, and if anyone wants to debate whether any of these people are in fact uh, right-wingers or not, uh, I will be happy to do so. Or maybe you should just talk to these people. You know, it's not like it's nearly impossible to contact them. I mean, I managed to contact Skeptor, a uh, saga of a cod, and I believe once Monday Matt. I mean, it's not that difficult. Christina Hoff Summers is another one, if I didn't mention her. Uh... So all these people have a pre-existing, pre-Gamergate interest in defaming feminism and the left generally. Have you ever done your fucking research? Christina Hoff Summers is a feminist. Oh, but, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. Christina Hoff Summers is not a quote-unquote true feminist because she doesn't follow the traditional third-wave feminist bullshit ideologies. Here is third-wave feminist, um common ideology there's always a 77 cents wage gap Th that's what pretty much every third wave feminist actually believes if not there's a wage gap and that wage gap is th there is no other reason to have that wage gap outside of sexism Th there's no legit reason there's no other fucking factors. So if you don't follow the exact third wave feminist uh, premise, then you are not a true feminist. And in fact, you are an anti-feminist because you do not support the so-called wage gap argument. And because uh, so do the MRAs, um, and the MRAs are basically anti-feminist, therefore, by definition, you are an MRA. And, and this, it gets better. Uh, Neo-Nazis, ho oh, ho those fucking bastards, those bastards are evil. And because, you know, MRAs are, uh, consist of very evil people who just want to oppress women, therefore, an MRA is no different from a neo-Nazi. Therefore, uh, by feminist logic, Christina Hoff Summers is a neo-Nazi. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a mouthful. Uh, yeah, so I, it feels like a right-wing movement, and it talks like one. They use the language of the cultural right, like social justice warrior. That's a term that I first heard used by Stefan Molyneux, and it makes sense when he says it, because he's, you know, to him a social justice warrior is someone who believes in, like, universal health care or who believes that police brutality has a racial component to it, which are pretty obvious, I would think, to most people. 
Gamergate has this special voodoo vibe that tells you that Gamergate is bad. Ooh. Uh. Where was I? But yeah. Uh, feminazi is another word you see thrown around all the time. And Which is used mostly on modern day feminists. That's a Rush Limbaughism. What the fuck is a Rush Limbaughism? Uh, I don't, I don't think there's any reason, I don't think there's any value in those terms for people on the left, or for, for uh, proponents of social justice, for people who, like myself, who want to defend social justice and feminism from attack from the right, and also want to reclaim those terms from the authoritarian left. Uh... I don't think there's any value in using those terms, and I don't know of anybody who's actually concerned with social justice who uses the word, the expression, social justice warrior. I got nothing. This is just plain stupid. Nevertheless, a lot of gamergators apparently identify with the libertarian left, and I also identify with the libertarian and anarchist left, uh, but to me, Gamergate feels pretty reactionary. So... Basically, to boil down your entire argument, Gamergate has this, you know, evil vibe. And therefore, is a reason to oppose Gamergate. I couldn't make this up even if I tried. I mean, I could simply say that um, feminism gives me this negative vibe because it just sounds so goddamn evil. It just makes me want to hurl. Feminism. <laughs> so, anything else you want to add? Um, yeah. Just as I thought, I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out.